Hi guys, welcome back to Sunway Healing. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's Pick a Card reading, we want to get messages from your subconscious mind. So if you guys have been having strange dreams, if you've been having um, a kind of insights, or if you've been, uh, let's say, intrigued by something that's very symbolic, Let's see if you're uh, able to pick up messages here today. So I have four piles for you. Pile one is with the black feather. Pile one. Pile two is this silver feather. Pile three is the white with black feather. And the last pile, pile four, is this gray feather. All right, I'll show you all the feathers together. One, two, three, and four. Hi, pile one, you chose the black feather. So let's see, what are your messages through your subconscious mind? Let's see. The feelings of an awakened heart and appreciation, number three and number 15 here. So pile one, let's get channel messages for your, from your subconscious pile one. I'm feeling that a lot of you guys are melting uh, the ice around your heart. Uh, a lot of you could have had a lot of blockages around the heart chakra. You uh, had um, yearning to deal with many people who could be cold to you or who could have acted cold or their way of expressing love is very cold, detached or um, I'm also hearing for some of you almost cruel. Some of you um, have found yourself attracted to people who um, express their love through uh, their mind and have had their heart chakra blocked or are unable to open up um, and give love and receive love. You guys could have grown up with a cold parent, maybe a, a dad or a mom who could have been very cold or who have expressed their love in a detached way. Many of you here as part of the collective have um, dealt with a um, Heartbreak coming from uh, people who might have rejected you. I'm hearing unrequited love. You guys could have had a few experiences in terms of unrequited love or could have um, a tendency to attract people who are unrequited. There is also a strong focus on your physical beauty. Um, you guys could be very beautiful or could have uh, beautiful features, I'm hearing beautiful skin. Um, you can maintain yourself really well. You guys could take care of your body really well. And you attract people who could be um, a little bit superficial or um, attracted to your beauty only, or have trouble uh, getting emotionally available or opening up to you uh, on an emotional 
way. You guys could have Lilith in Leo. You're learning to um, melt the heart of others who are around you. So you are connecting with people who need uh, warmth, who need that very strong Leo energy here. You guys could have a lot of presence. You're learning to open up the heart of others okay, with your confidence, you do, with your warmth, with your sense of um, I'm hearing uh, going over the boundaries. Some of you could be stepping up or stepping outside the boundaries or pushing other people to step outside their, their boundaries, come out of their comfort zone somehow. I feel many of you could have been connecting yourself with your past in the past couple of weeks or three weeks, recollecting memories, trying to connect um, and understand what happened with old flames, understand your old relationships, your patterns, um, gaining a sense of confidence in your new self, renewed appreciation for yourself. Your subconscious mind is trying to get you to see um, that there are people who are going to appreciate you, who can see you for who you are, who are actually open to reciprocate, who are open to um, love your sensitivity, who are open to your, to your um, emotional side, who will not reject it, who will actually appreciate it. Some of you may want to work with flowers, you may want to buy yourself a bouquet or use flowers um, to adorn your house. Some of you might like to use flowers in your hair. Your subconscious mind is trying to remind you that you are um, truly loved and appreciated the way you are. The things that didn't grow in the past are actually a, a source of um, new seeds for the future. You're actually planting new seeds this spring, especially here. You're releasing this old here and you're realizing that there's a lot of growth in the back. You don't need to actually rely, rely, rely on this um, old pattern, old things that could have brought you down or kept you stuck or even um, not being productive at all. Some of you could have cried lately. You have had a lot of emotional release through crying. And this is part of your unconscious mind. It's been pushing you to release through uh, tears. I'm hearing it's all good, it's all fine. Many of you are just uh, releasing a lot of patterns and being more and more comfortable with yourself. Also learning to appreciate your own type of beauty, your own way of loving. I'm also hearing some of you could have very unique personalities. Um, you could have been called strange, especially when it comes to your love interests. They might have seen you as um, Maybe difficult or not only difficult, but they couldn't really understand you uh, at an emotional level. You could have been with people who are very centered around themselves, their own needs, uh, very selfish. Um, unable to open their heart chakra or unable to open up emotionally or people who are very, for them it's very hard to speak about their emotions or their feelings. Maybe you guys could have attracted a lot of air signs in general or people who are um, just usually detached from the way they feel. They don't connect so much with their emotions. I wanna also feel your subconscious mind is telling you that 
You could have a feminine around you who is wanting to show appreciation towards you, who wants to be there for support, to help you create abundance, especially financial abundance. You guys could have suffered from some kind of attachments that you're trying to release, especially around um, possibly your career or something uh, having to do with uh, planting your roots. So you guys could have been attached to a certain way of living, a certain lifestyle, a certain, uh, maybe even a certain um, amount of money or salary that you got used to and you're releasing. You're letting it go as a form of old attachment or unhealthy attachment. You're growing out of that. You're being shown a new pathway. Hi, one. What does your subconscious mind want to tell you? There's a lot of release here coming your way, or you're going through a lot of release right now. Let go. You're being told to let go. Don't resist the release. Don't release the change. You guys could have gone through a sudden loss or sudden uh, breakup or um, something you had to let go of uh, suddenly. Um, something that was cut out of your life all of a sudden. And I'm hearing it was a blessing in disguise. Some of you could have dreams um, that could be quite dark or quite uh, complicated, complex situations. Uh, multiple dreams in the same uh, night. Some of you are having intense sexual dreams as well. Even nightmares. I'm hearing you were wondering about your length, the length of your dreams. Why were they so short or why were they so long? Something about their length is been bothering you or you've been wondering about. I'm also wondering about the people in that those dreams. Some of you are seeing really old people from your past. Others are seeing deceased people. A lot of you are surprised or uh, you might have had those dreams with people who were actually quite unexpected, who were showing up uh, in your dreams. Maybe people from your work setting that you are not expecting in your dreams or people from your schools, maybe from a, um, many, many years ago. They're bringing you a message here uh, when it comes to your healing. I want to feel a lot of you um, detached yourself from those situations. Maybe you wanted to almost like forget about that part of your life. Some of you, it is part of your childhood. I'm hearing most of you something related to your teenage years here that could have been difficult to deal with um, and you somehow detached from it and now you're it's being brought up to the surface for you to look at and heal and release um, something that is actually brought to the surface, brought to the lights here. I'm hearing it's going to help you help your children or guide your children. You, some of you have a teenage child that you are um, trying to guide here during his or her years, uh, they're having difficulties and you're actually connecting with your past that way. A lot of anxiety, some of you could have suffered during your young years from anxiety. Possibly um, for some, it could also be uh, some kind of disability when it comes to your language or communication skills. Um, 
maybe for some uh, Tourette syndrome or um, maybe even dyslexia for some. You guys could be connecting with ravens. Ravens could be part of your dreams. I'm also feeling if they're not part of your dreams when they're showing up in your experience, they're bringing messages from your subconscious mind. Many of you, you actually have the raven as an animal spirit. Some of you were born around the, the month of October, like me, and the raven is your animal spirit. All right, pile one, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye. Hi, pile two, you chose this feather. Let's see, what are the messages from your subconscious mind? Oof, the lure of the easiest way and the thinking man, number 2446. So what does your subconscious mind want to tell you? Okay, I'm hearing the easy things that come to you are not always the best things for you. Mm, some of you could have tried to take the easy road to get to what you want. I'm also hearing an exchange of power. Uh, power exchange for sex, sex exchange for power. Um, I'm hearing some of you here are very beautiful, very useful, um, or much older and have a lot of power. There is some kind of power dynamic here that some of you are using at your advantage um, in order to get some kind of satisfaction that is fast and easy but that doesn't provide uh, growth or uh, long-term happiness. So one example here is, um, let's say, a CEO who's having sex with his secretary. She's getting um, somehow a piece of his power and he's getting a piece of her, of her use. So that's the kind of exchange that's quite easy, but does, um, in the long term not bring any kind of happiness or fulfillment, uh, especially emotionally, uh, but it's also uh, quite damaging um, because it makes you think that easy is the right way. So there's a lot of lure in terms of easy, easy things, things that you can get easily, things that you can, um, yeah, things that you can get easily. There's a, somehow a temptation here. Some of you could be in your 40, sorry, 40s or your 20s. Um, you guys could be attracting people with a, a, an age gap here. Uh, they're much older than you. They're very attracted to you physically. I'm hearing Alice in Wonderland. Could be something here that you guys have um, a connection to Alice in Wonderland. I'm also hearing um, magic mushrooms connected to Alice in Wonderland. Things being distorted, you guys could have a, maybe some kind of illusion that's being uh, brought up to the surface, something that you need to see um, about some somewhat a behavior here that is um, bringing you um, short-term pleasure but uh, not much in terms of long-term uh, potential. I'm hearing um, that some of you might get a lot of pleasure using sexting or even um, talking dirty over the phone, I'm hearing.
Some of you have an uncomfortable feeling around uh, people with authority over you. Um, uncomfortable because you might feel that this person desires you or has uh, maybe repressed uh, emotions or repressed uh, lust towards you. This is Venus in Virgo. Some of you guys have your Venus in Virgo or you guys could have Virgo uh, strong in your chart either as a sun, moon or um, a rising. You guys could have a bit of voyeur uh, fetish or you could have people who like to watch you. And this person here could be someone that actually supervises you or is higher in hierarchy than you or has a big age gap between the two of you. This person is probably showing up in your dreams or you guys think about this person a lot or this person thinks about you a lot. Your subconscious mind wants to tell you that this person is indeed interested in you. Pile two, if you were wondering. I'm hearing some of you could have uh, five to ten year um, age gap. This person has a position of power or could be quite respected in their society. Their entourage, you guys have a lot of um, attraction or there is somewhat sexual tension between the two of you. So some of you are actually having sexual dreams about this person. Um, third eye chakra here. You guys could be seeing this person definitely in your dreams. They could also be seeing you in, your, in their dreams. Um, your subconscious mind wants to tell you as well that you are um, actually very precious to this person that no matter how cold this person could be or maybe even detached or someone who could be quite an intellectual you know this person could be very intellectual could work um, in places where you need to think fast on your feet or you could have to really uh, have a lot of reflection before uh, coming up with uh, ideas this person could work in a, again, high position. Well, this person actually sees you as a gem and you know it here. It's something that's being brought up to you uh, by your subconscious mind, but I'm feeling here you guys already know, deep down you know. There is a lot of flirtation here a lot of wondering whether this person likes you. Uh, your subconscious mind is here to tell you that they do. They definitely do like you, but it's it's uh, complicated. In their mind, the situation is complicated and uh, there's a lot of thinking and uh, like almost like I'm seeing a maze or a labyrinth. When this person starts thinking about you, there is a whole labyrinth in their mind or it's really hard for them to get to some kind of conclusion. This person is very rational, logical, is very even wise, very much respected for their uh, sense of uh, maybe guiding others, mentoring others. And when it comes to you, they get stuck, they get uh, confused, um, they want to get clarity. I'm also hearing they can't really resist you here, Pile 2. They're having trouble resisting you and you know it. Uh, some of you have been trying to get um, to the bottom of this, maybe push this person to get more answers or push this person to be more revealing as to their intentions. But you guys probably fall in this labyrinth. I'm still seeing this maze. You guys could have gone through cycles with this person. This person could be part of your karma here, pile two or a soulmate that's here to teach you a lesson. I 
This person really fantasizes about you, about your body. Your body is very attractive to this person. There is somewhat uh, a feeling of you being um, treated like an object, objectified. Um, I'm hearing treated like a hot piece of <laughs> and uh, it's um, somewhat you're not sure how to feel about it you're not sure how to feel about it sometimes you might like it other times you might be disgusted and pull away um, but it's easy and I feel you guys get back in this cycle over and over again because of the easiness the e yes it's easy or you guys are just um, could be attracted to power, power uh, dynamics. Um, could have a, a sadomaso uh, quality to this relationship or controlling. This person could be very controlling and somehow this might turn you on or might be very intriguing to you or could actually trigger um, somewhat something from your childhood where you were um, experiencing love as a controlling um, emotion or you could have had a lot of people who exerted many uh, control tactics or um, even manipulation to control the way you think, the way you are, your behavior. This is very young childhood, not teenage years. I'm feeling more um five six seven years old eight years old around those age uh, early childhood people who were trying to control your mind the way you think could be a professor but i'm getting most likely maybe a dad or a mother um could have had a lot of discipline and uh, um, you could be punished or had to deal with um uh, that kind of mind control and you could have equated that with love and this is showing up now to show you this pattern pile two what does your subconscious mind want to tell you some of you have suffered from your parents divorce early on between the age of three to seven it was a very difficult gap, very difficult uh, experience to go through. Some of you could have gone through actually um, through the legal system here. Some of you could have had to go through uh, um, religious practices that you didn't uh, enjoy or you had to be in um, American catechism or like, you know, religious classes, rituals that you had to be a part of that were actually very hurtful to your growth or especially to your emotional health. You might have felt that the, these practices were very controlling, especially in terms of your intellect. They were uh, blocking your questions. You felt uh, that these rituals could have been very detrimental to you, to your growth and to your expansion. Some of you here could have had a crush on a professor, a teacher, an older male figure here, pile two. Some of you here have a dog, a dog, Labrador. Hearing the name Stacy. I'm also hearing that some of you here could have had a mother uh, that you could have um, felt was maybe too promiscuous or too showy or maybe too sexual or maybe uh, this uh, mother figure could have been um, maybe flirting with your friends, was making you very uncomfortable. 
Some of you have actually not grown up with your dad. Your dad could have had uh, maybe another family or you might have never met your dad for some of you. You guys are being shown um, something here about uh, this area here that's being opened for you. You're being shown uh, clearly the things that you need to see. So some of you are actually seeing that. So definitely, possibly through images, through um, I'm hearing the messages come come to movies for you that show you images or um, situation where you're uncomfortable, where you get triggered. They're telling you something. Others, it's actually dreams. Or some of, some of you actually having visions. Here in your meditation, you see them, or even if you do Reiki or acupuncture, you might see those visions. They're being shown to you. They're showing you uh, that gap, that uh, maybe stress that happened around the early ages. If it's not a divorce, there is some kind of stress here, a feeling maybe of abandonment here by the dad, the father rejection by the father or a cold cold dad dad that wasn't very present maybe or uh, could work very hard work a lot of hours I'm hearing Selma 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 Susu Suleiman Sally Some of you have a scar uh, around your face, uh, here, around the throat. You're feeling liberated. There's some kind of liberation here coming through these dreams. Freedom. Um, freedom from old patterns. Really, really deep patterns, but there's some kind of freedom here. Um, some of you are really adopting pets or you're using pet therapy in terms of healing the heart or connecting deeper with uh, uh, with pets in order to heal. All right, pile two, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i see you at your next reading. Bye. Hi, pile three, you chose this beautiful feather let's take a look what does your subconscious mind want to tell you so we have archangel metatron sixth chakra the number 40 and we have the great theater of life venus in aries number 30. okay i saw 3313 in the in the clock you guys could have a venus in aries Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so what is the message here? Well, first of all, I feel some of you are actually working with Archangel Metatron. Um, there's a lot of third eye chakra activation. A lot of you guys are getting messages through the third eye. Uh, you might not know that is actually your third eye, uh, but that's the case for most of you in this pile. Um, pile three. You guys could see a lot of threes, three, 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 thirty, thirteen as well, um, three, three, one, three. All right. So what is it? I'm hearing Carmen. You know Carmen, the the drama, the theater, uh, Bizet, the opera. Um, if you love me, I don't love you. But if you don't love me, then I love you. There's a lot of pull me in, I will push you out. And there's a lot of push and pull, hot and cold energy in this uh, card. I'm feeling a lot of drama, Leo energy, Aries. You guys can have Aries and Leo. There's also drama because you guys could be attracted many suitors. And you could have feminists that are very jealous of that. People in the background, people that are 
maybe not uh, wishing you well, be a bit of jealousy, something that your subconscious mind is trying to show you. You guys could be getting advice from the wrong people, especially when it comes to your love life. I feel some of you are actually on some kind of stage, some kind of platform, maybe quite popular, maybe in Instagram or Twitter or something. You guys do something where you are seen. Uh, it could also be at, through your work. Uh, you guys could work uh, in a place where you are seen, where you need to interact with many people. You enjoy the stage or you are being called to enjoy. With the subconscious here, a message you're being called to enjoy. I feel some of you are actually fearing that part of yourselves. You could have hidden that part of yourself for a long time. Some of you could be quite shy, quite uh, intimidated by uh, the public, or especially when it comes to um, starting something, initiating something, being the first to do something, or maybe leading, especially when it comes to leading. Maybe leading a project, leading a crowd, leading others, you guys could shy away. You're being pushed towards that. I'm also hearing your finances here. You guys could uh, be feeling that you need to be a little bit more bold when it comes to your finances, your investments, your career choices, maybe be more ambitious. You're being pushed towards um, I'm hearing aiming higher, especially if you guys are applying to positions or jobs here, you're being pushed to aim higher, not to be afraid of aiming higher, uh, to, I'm hearing, fake it until you make it, especially if you guys are feeling that you would probably suffer from imposter syndrome. Um, I'm hearing here as well, do not get caught up in third parties, do not get caught up in situations that are not uh, ultimately the best for you. Your subconscious mind is trying to show you that uh, those, those situations uh, bring a lot of drama and a lot of heartbreak. Uh, ultimately, they just, uh, they just bring a lot of sadness. Even though there's a lot of excitement around them and a lot of, uh, I'm hearing it's very juicy. So some of you find that very juicy, very fun in a way, uh, especially if you've been bored or if things have been quite slow in your love life. Um, some of you could be attracting third parties or uh, unavailable men, unavailable females. A lot of fire here, pile three. You're being awakened to some kind of passion. Uh, I feel here, pile three, you're being pushed to look at that passion, even though it would require somewhat an, uh, maybe an entrepreneurial uh, attitude. I'm getting here a very king of wands energy. Um, you would have to like step up and uh, show yourself, uh, kind of like show what you're made of, which you probably could have had trouble doing or if you have been doing that you're being pushed to do it more be more bold more um more out there i'm hearing whatever you want to bring to this world whatever you want to create produce is needed it's something that is needed something that is needed to be shown here many of you are doing it perfectly or many of you are going to touch the right people with that energy. Um, some of you like to wear leather boots. I'm also hearing you're being called to um, show maybe your naughty side, 5-3. Use that naughty side in terms of your own uh, benefit. I'm also feeling that naughty side in terms of your energy level uh, could be uh, used in terms of inspiring yourself to grow in your arts, in your craft, in some kind of hobby.
you're being pushed to be more confident by a three. And I, this card here shows me that you're highly intuitive. You need to feel more confident in your intuition by a three. Your third eye chakra is being opened. There's a lot of activation here. Uh, you guys are receiving a lot of light. Um, and you're receiving messages. You have to trust them, pile three. Some of you could have had um, insights even in terms of um, pre premonition dreams. The Merkaba, you know, the Merkaba um, could be important for you guys with Metatron. The Merkaba, you guys could be uh, looking up a geometrical uh, symbols. When you guys see geometrical symbols, you guys might actually get messages through them. I'm also hearing some of you here have a, uh, you have a twin, file three. Some of you have a twin, um, and this is you being activated. You're getting a lot of. Uh, signs and synchronicities because you guys are coming closer i'm also hearing some kind of scriptures here are being shown to you pile three pay attention to those signs they're actually for you they are for you scriptures geometrical signs i'm also hearing symphonies melodies lyrics Some of you are finding feathers in the streets. Pick them up. This could be a message from Metatron here, Archangel Metatron. Your subconscious mind is telling you that you can create magic. You guys are ready to create magic on the stage, to create magic with your crafts, to be seen for who you are, to be fully embraced actually by yourself first. You are uh, here to shine, by three. You're not here to hide. You're actually meant to be publicly recognized for who you are, the things you do. You're being called to, to step up here. Some of you are growing your hair. You're working on growing your hair. Your hair is working as an antenna to pick up energies, to pick up uh, insights from Mother Earth. Um, so if you can, you can continue grow your, growing your hair. Do not cut it. I'm also feeling your throat chakra. You guys are just expressing yourself more freely. You're being pushed to do that, to express yourself even more dramatically, more boldly. Um, do not be afraid. All right, pile three, your subconscious mind, what did it tell you? What do it want to tell you here in messages? Okay, do not be afraid of messy things. Pile three, uh, do not be perfectionist. Things are messy. Life is messy. Do not um, stay stuck on the fact that things are not perfect. If you want to start something, you don't have to wait for things to be perfect just jump you're being pushed to jump and to start fresh start something uh, follow your intuition follow your uh, drive your oomph i'm hearing some of you could have very strong sacral chakra energy here being activated a lot of inspired thoughts inspired ideas i'm hearing you guys want to do things you want to create things you want to try things you are being uh, pushed towards that just follow that intuition, follow that dream or that impulse. Many of you, it's a gut feeling. A lot of you are feeling it in your guts. Um, others are just feeling the need to express yourself somehow. Do it, pile three, do it. Mm, I'm also feeling here, a lot of you guys are edgy, very, very edgy, different. Or you want to embrace that side of yourselves. The young subconscious mind is telling you to embrace it more. Your edgy side. Do not be afraid of being different. Especially I'm hearing around you, people could have been judgmental. 
I'm also hearing even worried for you. Some of you guys could have been spoke, speaking about your spirituality or even your beliefs and people felt you're strange, could have even been worried about you. Maybe uh, family members. It's messy, pile three. Your growth is messy and it's okay. Just continue. You're in the right path. You want to... Some of you actually wanting to open up some kind of business or something here that's been uh, lagging or stagnant or not moving as fast as you wanted it to be. Also here in Grizzly, bears. You guys could have some kind of connection with bears or you could live in a bear country. Library, literature, some of you are writing, going to the library, trying to read a study or just study about something, writing about something. I'm hearing M names. Mu, Muni, Mu, Murad, Mu, Mu, M names. All right, Pile 3, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And I see you at your next reading. Bye. All right, pile four. You chose this other. Let's see. What does your subconscious mind want to tell you? All right, confidence in the power of healing, number seven. An angel of love, number 49. Beautiful. Pile three. Sorry, pile four, I mean. What does your subconscious mind want to tell you? And many of you are discovering your beauty here, Pile 4. Your feminine side, your, uh, the beauty of receiving love, the beauty of opening up to love, being more receptive. A lot of mother, mother, um, motherhood or uh, something about your femininity here that you're accepting. I'm hearing for some of you, it is your breasts, you're accepting your breasts, or you're starting to love your breasts, so this is for some, not for all, of course, and especially if you don't have breasts. There is something here about also possibly your ethnicity, race, um, skin color that you're accepting about yourself, you're starting to love. Many of you are actually healers here, Pile 4. You're discovering that about yourself. Your subconscious mind wants you to know that, that uh, you are a powerful healer. You should actually be um, exploring that side of you. I'm also feeling, Pile 4, many of you have healed uh, tremendously in the past few months. Um, the healing that you've been through is going to bring you a lot of love in your life, is opening you up to new dimensions when it comes to love. A lot of you have really risen your vibration, you're much more uh, receptive and much more also uh, confident in your femininity, in your feminine power. I'm also seeing the womb here, womb energy. Some of you are thinking about having a child or thinking about motherhood in general. You are, uh, yeah, some of you are having a child or you are um, going to be pregnant soon. Congratulations for those who are getting pregnant. Uh, I'm also hearing some of you have regrets or have had regrets or shame around casual sex. It's something you're healing, uh, the shame or the guilt for some. The feeling of being used as well, Pile 4, some of you are going through healing around that. So the womb, sacral chakra is being healed and the heart chakra around the breast area. I'm also hearing some of you are working with magic, magic spells. Some of you are into witchcraft. You might even be doing um, herbal potions and spells and stuff like that. Um, your subconscious mind is uh, encouraging you to look at that. 
and see how it actually helps you heal. So really, whatever you're doing, if you are doing things like that, it's really important that you direct your energy towards yourself rather than towards others, because you can't really control anybody else. You can only control yourself or heal yourself first before anything else. I'm also hearing some of you, you're being pushed to integrate some kind of routine here when it comes to your beauty, uh, your rest. Some of you should be doing more bathing, maybe bathing with essential oils. Some of you should be integrating more uh, medicine in terms of your uh, health. Well, we're talking specifically natural medicine. Very strong Virgo energy here, Pile 4. You guys are being um, called to integrate natural remedies in your life in terms of healing your patterns, healing yourself in terms of your physical body, but also emotional body here, Pile 4. I'm also hearing fasting is important here. Fasting using liquids. I'm also hearing cold, cold baths, cold showers, hot and cold. So some of you are going to have Nordic spas or, um, you know, hot and cold. Part four, I also feel your subconscious is telling you to explore your spirituality through, um, through these remedies or through healing in general, anything that's related to healing, you're going to be able to explore your spirituality more and more through those um, methods. Some of you are South Asian or mixes, so maybe white and a mix of white and Filipino, Vietnamese, uh, Thailand, or black, and there's a lot of mix here, I'm feeling. M yeah, mixed race. You're becoming, uh, or you're being pushed to become more um, in line or aligned with your rituals from your tradition, your traditional rituals from your countries of origin, or even the ancestral rituals that uh, your ancestors have used to heal. Some of you are uh, exploring that side. Pile four. What is your subconscious mind trying to tell you? They're trying to tell you that. A lot of this healing is open in your heart again. Some of you have been heartbroken for a while. Some of you have hidden your heart for a while. You have been trying to not only heal, but also stay hidden when it comes to love. Uh, some of you have been even ashamed or um, uncomfortable to open up again because it was difficult to heal from your last heartbreak or you felt that you weren't ready. Many of you could have had casual relationships or just decided to stay celibate. Hi, four, you're discovering your sensuality. A lot of you guys are actually connecting more and more with your sensuality and uh, you're connecting your heart and your sacral chakras. You're being reborn in a way when it comes to your love life. You might actually meet someone who is open to give love, to actually give love. So you're opening yourself to receive here, Pile 4. This person could be in their 40s, late 30s. This person could live close by the, the water. I'm hearing Elena. E names, Elena, Erin, Emily. Hendrik as well. This is an H name, but I'm hearing Hendrik. I'm also hearing Oklahoma. But for some of you are healing your marriages. Some of you are healing um, deep wounds from your marriages or your divorce here or long-term partners that may have left you or hurt you. You're connecting more and more with flowers here, Pile 4, especially um, the poppy, poppy flower. You guys could be living in a place where there's going to be a lot of poppies uh, in the summer. I 
Most of you are in jelly beans. Some of you are eating jelly beans or I don't know why I'm healing jelly beans. Let's see. What does your subconscious mind want to tell you? Five, four. I'm hearing your miracle, your miracle of God, your miracle of the universe. Do not forget that, five, four. Your mystery. You guys are discovering so much about yourselves. You've learned so much. You're still learning, especially when it comes to love. Um, and also, my, my pile four, you're learning that love is not black and white. You are learning that love is actually more gray than anything. And it's always been. So, complicated situations, strange love, hot and cold, and all these possible um, uncomfortable situations, even unrequited love, is part of human experience, is part of your growth. It's part of your spiritual growth, so your spiritual journey. Many of you are learning about your karma around love. Your subconscious mind is really uh, pulling you towards uh, watching your behavior, watching your patterns. A lot of you are becoming more and more aware of those. Just really aware of the way you feel around others. Very sensitive here, cancer energy. Becoming more and more sensitive, more aware, more... Um, your eyes are being open to your patterns, to your behaviors, to your... Um, I'm also hearing sexuality. Something about your sexuality here is being healed and is being shown to you so, so possibly some patterns here around your sexuality. Um, overgiven or not being able to receive or you're learning to receive something growing in that sense. Yeah, some of you could have definitely been in unfulfilling relationships, long-term relationships maybe, or um, really things that didn't make you happy, so you decided to stay alone or you're deciding to take time away to heal or to take a break from romantic relationships. I'm seeing joy and laughter here, Pi Four. Some of you are really reconnecting with friends. You're being pushed to reconnect with friends. I see a very lighthearted energy here coming your way, a lot of fun and uh, maybe just coffee dates and enjoying your time nothing nothing serious here pi four you guys are being called to be a little bit more joyful a little more in um you know happy thoughts joyful light-hearted energy as much as possible some of you are even being called to watch movies that make you laugh uh yeah funny movies I'm hearing it would be nice to have your own portrait. So this is a way for you to integrate your own beauty. Yes, definitely here, Pile 4, you have some kind of unique look to your face or your body. You're different. You look very different and your beauty maybe took your time to accept it. Or you're learning to see it in a very different light. You're being called to look at yourself in a different light, to love yourself differently. Or just redefine your beauty here, Pile 4. One way is to make your own portrait or get your portrait made. Becoming your own muse, Pile 4, your own muse here. Looking at yourself in the mirror with a smile. Some of you could have been bullied, I'm hearing, and others could have suffered from bulimia when you were younger. All right, my beautiful Pi 4, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you later. Bye.